Alright, so you really have an idea that the friend you currently have is probably, you know, they're changing up or they're not being who they used to be. And t this video just give you, this video aims to just give you a couple like signs, seven quality signs that can confirm your hunch about whether or not your friend or best friend is actually a ride or die for you. Or is actually, you know, an actual friend or whether they're fake or jealous or just no, not really presenting themselves in a way that a true friendship present themselves. In this video, I'm gonna give you all the keys, the keys in this video for y'all so that you can rid yourself of, you know, all that negativity. Fuck you and your badass attitude, all your negativity, and all that other shit. Keep that shit to your fucking self. Cause you know on this side, we're fucking positive. We're gonna deal with positivity out here, you feel me? Alright, enjoy the video. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Them bricks is way too high, you need to cut it. Your price is way too high, you need to cut it. Alright, so I'm putting all of y'all on blast. Maybe you are the jealous or fake friend. If you're not, you're good, you're good. But the ones that are around you that you know of, I'm gonna put you on. The first sign. Your homie sees you as competition. That in itself shows that your friend is is limiting in his belief. Because first of all, you have no competition. Okay, you're only competing with your former self. That's why people saying, "Oh, she's my body goals," or "Or they are relationship goals." No. Yeah, you can aspire to mimic them, but you should be aiming to be your own body goals. You should be aiming to be your own relationship goals. None of that wanting to be exactly like somebody else. That's why people, when people compare like LeBron James with Michael Jordan, it's like, why? Unless like they specifically said they wanted to be exactly like them, there's no point comparing yourself to the next man. Like just focus on your own thing, making that thing pop and improving on a daily. So they see you as competition. So they're always like trying to let one up you or trying to, you know. Yeah, obviously, you know, you just want to like continue to strive to be better, but it should be like, fun competition or oh, you're doing better than me so i need to like stay away from you or whatever right two is a big one right it's a big one never supports your goals whether that be you're starting a business or you're doing some art or you're creating videos they never buy your stuff never buy a product never watch your videos never like them don't repost or shout you out in their story or Insta post or whatever, or on their Snapchat or Twitter. None of that. They don't do any of that. But they just say, yeah, keep doing your thing, keep doing your thing. One day, eventually, you know, you'll get there. But they do nothing to help you get there as well, right? Because like, there's people that follow them or people that they interact with are not the same people that interact with you, right? So if they are able to share your work with them, that's more attention to your, your own thing, right? So they say, yeah, 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 you'll get there eventually. But they do nothing to help you get there eventually. Because <laughs> to be honest, like, if you're, if you're really about your thing, your friend would check you. you. Everybody has time. Stop watching fucking House of Cards. Like, yo, why are you wasting so much time watching TV or doing movie? I thought you were trying to, like, you know, get to the NBA. I thought you were trying to, like, work on your art. I've never, I haven't seen an art production from you in the past like month or so what's up with you like they would check in and see like yo step up your game are you do you not want to reach your your goals or whatever they wouldn't just like push you to the side and not watch a video not like not like or, or comment on your stuff or support you by buying a product whatever right so if those these are your like your friends like people you call friends you shouldn't even have to ask them. They'd be like, yo, what can I do to help you? How can I, you know, make you, help you get to the next level in what you're trying to do? Three, they talk down on you in, a, in like a joking, joking manner, right? They say, oh yeah, <laughs> you're pretty smart right now. I'm sure you get there eventually. I'm sure you're like, but it's like, they're kind of, they're roasting you. Like, obviously, like, roasting is, is cool. Like, you guys roast each other, but like, every time they're roasting you in like a joking manner, it's not, it's not cool, bro. Every single time, like, yeah, 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 you're, you're small right now, you'll, you'll, you'll get the adventure. Or like, why you always gotta dress so well? Why you always gotta like, you know, try to dress all fancy and stuff like that? Like, why wouldn't I, I don't, why don't you wanna dress well, right? So like, they always like, they'll talk down on you, like, 
oh you, sh- you sh- oh you think you're all that right <laughs> they, they say it to that in like a friendly but underlying is like a it's like a cons- a hateful type of tone to it right so you're always gonna watch like tones and body language and how people are saying what they're saying right and then this is the fourth one right so this is the one that you it happens over time so it's not something that's really immediate but like they started off nice and they were like riding for you but then gradually you know they started not showing you the same level of enthusiasm towards you so when you when you, you gotta peep energy always peep energy if someone's not matching the same level of energy you were before then you either need to like cut them off or just match the same level of energy that they are now right so you know like even us right we're not the same person we were a year ago the person we were, we were a year ago is not the same person we are now I guess when you look at pictures in high school, you thought you were you, you were cute or whatever. <laughs> but now compared to that, compared compared now to then, you're like, yo, that guy's ugly. Look ugly bitch, stay shit is shit. Hey! <laughs> well that feels ugly. <laughs> so just like that, people's behavior and mindsets can change. So if they're not, you know, riding with you like they were before or supporting you or you know, you know, being there for you like they used to, you gotta observe and see that change in behavior and adjust accordingly. On uh, number five, uh, they get mad when you hang out with other people. <laughs> Those ones were, um, so again, these, these can be applied to the homies and your girls. Um, so those ones were, uh, he's like, oh, you spend too much time with so-and-so. You should be spending time with me. You're like, what kind of, what kind of <laughs> nonsense? It's like, people don't, people don't need to be spending time with the same person every single, even like boyfriends and girlfriends, they need that time and space from each other to mess with each other. So that when they do get to each other, they can like rekindle like that, you know, intimacy and love for one another. But if you're constantly seeing someone every single day and like you're constantly around them, you tend to like, you know, um, take them for granted. It's like, oh yeah, he's there, he's there, he's there. But like, go, sometimes you need to go out and mingle with other people so that you can appreciate the person that you do have. So I only spend time with you every single day, right? Number six. They talk about other people in a negative manner, whether that's, you know, gossiping, not, I guess you talk, right? But like every person that they talk about seems to be presented in a negative manner for, by them. So it's, it's not, there's really anything positive that comes out of their mouth regarding somebody else. It's always like, oh, he dresses weird or she dresses bad or he's a, he's, he's a weirdo, she's a weirdo or... Um, just somebody like walking out walking around in a mall. He's like, yeah, look at his shoes. It's, it's crusty or what are those? <laughs> I have just one question for you What are those? <laughs> what are those type of shoes like why is so much negativity coming out of your mouth? So if they're doing that to other people and talking about you with them More than likely they're talking it talking shit behind your back as well to somebody definitely in their mind or somebody somewhere else right so peep that watch that check that behavior and number seven they're always trying to one-up you in one way or another right so um like oh my i'm yo i, I got like 500 followers today oh yeah well i got a thousand followers the other day how about that <laughs> how about that so it's like they never really just take the time to like yo you're doing well appreciate you but anytime you have good news they gotta top your goodness with other good news or something better than what you were already doing, right? So, check these seven signs. Maybe that's you. If that's you, this is where character development comes into play. But if that's somebody around you, you gotta check that behavior. Start distancing yourself from them because you don't need that negativity in your life. You feel me? And always when people are talking to you, don't aim to like just give your opinion or advice my back my one friend he does this so well like he's kind of like it's essentially a therapist i should say like people will t- like people, like when i'm talking or people, whenever somebody is talking to him he just listen and then ask a couple of questions here and there's like okay yeah how did that make you feel or how is that situation making you feel now like what are you doing about it and that people don't always necessarily want you to to solve their problems for you for them Oftentimes, they just want you to listen and just like have someone to bounce ideas off of, right? So, until they've, they've asked you 
it's like yo what do you what should what should i do what should i do here what what would you suggest that's when you like give them your two cents on the topic <laughs> so that again definitely subscribe to the channel the channel aims to provide you edutainment uh, educational content in an entertaining and engaging way so if you're part of the demographic subscribe if you're not do not subscribe that's it i'm just gonna be honest with you you know definitely check out other videos on my channel if you haven't if you haven't you're not sold on me yet but i promise you will after you watch some other videos uh god bless much love peace and joy namaste i'll see you in the next video bye cut it cut it cut it cut it them bricks is way too high you need to cut it your price is way too high you need to cut it cut it